So we're here today to review a brand new product for Garmin. Um, and it's called the Garmin Tread Audio System with LED Controller. Uh, so this is it's brand new. It just came out. Uh, they just released it um, yesterday, I guess. I think it was yesterday. And uh, we're one of the first few people to actually get our hands on one of these. And uh, we're going to test it out. The thing that's really cool about this and that I'm excited about is it's a modular system. So it integrates with the object that you see right here, which is the Garmin Tread Unit. And it also integrates with this right here, which is called the Garmin Power Switch. So it's a modular system. All three of them go together. Um, and if you think about it, if I break it down into simplest terms, this is kind of like the brains of the operation. So this thing is a GPS unit. Uh, this thing um, also has a radio built in, so I'm able to communicate with other Garmin Tread users that are near me. Um, I'm also, if I make them part of my network, I also am not only able to communicate them through radio frequency, I'm also able to actually see where they're at on a map on here as well too. Um, some other really neat features on this as well, as, as you can see there's, there's essentially like apps on here. Um, one of the apps is a music player, which it integrates with your phone. You can stream from your phone to here, and then ultimately this will pass the sound onto um, the Garmin Tread audio system. All right. Some other things. There's traffic. There's um, it integrates with your phone. It integrates with uh, weather as well too. So I'll just show you. And this is a brand new uh, firmware update. So this was an 18 gig download to get all this stuff to work. Um, this is, is kind of cool. So if you use your UTV or your ATV to do any hunting, you can, Garmin makes uh, tags for their dogs, for dogs, for hunting dogs, and you can actually track the dogs where they're actually at in relationship to you as well, which is really important, especially if you like your dogs. Um, this one's really neat. This is the Garmin power switch. So if you notice, I just have this set up. So Tread, this is Garmin Power Switch is actually powering this device right now. I have a, a um, it's set up to power on port two, our Tread Audio. But if you look here on this power switch, when I start turning these different circuits on, you can see the circuits coming on on the power switch. When I turn them off, they come off there as well. Um, and what is going on with the power switch and what I really like about it is it gives you modular power. So you take the positive and the negative wire, you run it to your battery, and at that point you've got 12 volt switchable power right here that is controllable from this device. It's actually controllable from the Garmin power switch app on your phone. So if you watch here, you can see the lights turning on and off as I'm turning them on and off from my app as well here. If you show them over there too, as they're going on and off. Okay, so what that actually means is we're gonna hook this up to it, but it also means that you can add auxiliary lighting, right? So if you wanna have a, a LED light bar on the top, maybe that's on port three, maybe you have a front light bar, and maybe you have um, some ditch lights or, or a light out back. You can set them up all on different circuits. You don't have to run wires all over the place. You can run them to one centralized location, which is the power switch, and then just power them on and off from there. So as I mentioned earlier, um, we're one of the first around to actually get our hands on this particular unit. Um, I checked this morning, nobody had done an unboxing, so I figured that's exactly uh, what we're gonna do. Um, I've not opened it up yet, I've not looked at it at all, so it's gonna be just as much of a surprise to me exactly what's in here as you guys as well. So. Here we go. So it looks like we have a box here on the top. And that's probably the speaker, so I'll, I'll get to that next. I should shred this like a kid on Christmas morning, but I'm gonna try not to do that. So it looks like these are going to be the mounts. Roll bar mount. And under 
here. I'm guessing this might be the controller. Just gonna move these to the side. It's about 90 degrees in here right now too, so it's a little toasty. So this is gonna be the controller unit. Goes out to all the speakers, so we have a wiring harness in the back. I'm guessing for multiple speakers. Um, I think this is wireless as well too. I don't know that for a fact, because I haven't opened it yet. Um, but we'll check that out. We'll figure that out next. There's that. Um, also in here, some wires, some directions. Uh, I'm guessing this is for external devices. Oh, there's for a sub. I don't think we got the subwoofer, but you can wire out to a subwoofer. Um, auxiliary in. I don't know if you want to put a VCR in your side-by-side. -side. Um, I'm, I'm not sure what you would use that for. Maybe video, depending on what you have it on. I guess you could put this in a boat as well, too. And uh, yeah, for some of that stuff. Um, power wire, so we'll run this to our power switch, get power from there. And it's just some electrical connectors, so that's that's pretty much that. And it looks like we're left with, the only other thing here are the speakers. Nicely wrapped, they're pretty soft. Here's the actual speaker. So these have LED lights inside of them too. When you power them up, they change colors. And uh, yeah, that's it. So the other one is gonna be exactly the same. Let's, let's see what's on this wiring room. So they're powered speakers. So you'll definitely have to run power to them. Um, but we'll, we'll catch the details here in a little bit. And what I think I wanna do is I just wanna try and set them up on the, on the actual um, tabletop here. And uh, right before we, we'll film a separate video when we actually install them in the side-by-side. -side. So we're gonna put them in the Can-Am Maverick Sport XRC behind me. Um, but for now, I just wanna see how difficult it is and, and what it's going to take to actually get these to play. Okay. So one other thing I missed, this is the wireless controller. So you'll just mount that wherever you want to on the side-by-side -side or ATV, whatever you're using it on, boat mounting system here for it. So we'll figure out how that all works at another point here as well. Okay.
So what we have right now is um, I'm just trying to get it running on the bench here first, just to make sure that everything's working. So I just have a, a couple of wire nuts, wired everything together. This is what I can tell you. Um, power and ground go into the device right here. Um, one of the wiring harnesses goes to speakers. So there's just two wires for the left, two wires for the right, go to each one of these. That connects the sound. And then this wiring harness right here has four wires for each speaker, total of eight wires that controls the, um, the LEDs. So um, I'm in the process right now of updating the Tread uh, app on my phone. So what I will tell you is if you are adding this to an existing Garmin uh, Tread system, the Tread itself is gonna need an 18 gigabyte roughly uh, update that took about two or three hours to actually download and install. Um, and then uh, the Garmin Tread audio device also required me to update the software on that. I'm guessing it's a firmware upgrade. And then the Tread app saw this. It actually noticed that we had the audio connected, but it's asking us to update the Tread app as well too. So that's where we're at right now. We won't bore you with this process. All right, so after a little bit of playing around and, and downloading software on pretty much everything, my phone, uh, the Tread device, the Tread audio device, we're able to actually get this to work. Um, now, obviously there's copyright issues, so I, 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 if I put music on, they're gonna demonetize the video and then there's no point in me doing this. Um, so I'm just gonna crank a little bit of music up really quickly and I'll turn it back down just so you guys get the effect and see what's going on. Um, so I'm playing uh, from my phone, from my iPhone. It's connected to the Tread device, which is connected to Tread Audio, which is connected to this. As I mentioned, there's, there's two wiring harnesses in the back here. One of the wiring harnesses controls the audio into each of the channels, um, just a two channel setup. And the other wiring harness controls the LED lights into both of those as well too. I'm just getting the hang of how all this stuff works. I've literally just unboxed it. One other quick note, this is a, an antenna. So there's actually an FM and an AM antenna connected to here as well. And, and we did have it running on the local radio station as well too. Kind of cool. When I hit play for this very short time, you're gonna see the lights start changing colors and stuff. Listen to a little bit of poker when you're out, and uh, you get the basic idea here. And I'll show you on here really quickly. FM 94.1. This is number one champion sound. Yeah, a we about to get down. Get down. The in the Bluetooth. There you go. So we're going to wrap it up for now. Um, the next video you see from me, I'm going to have this mounted. We kind of figured that we would have them mounted on the back roll bar right here, right behind the helmet. Um, they have really good sound. Let me show you this really quickly. So there's a tread device already mounted inside of here and um, got my power inside of there. So I'll put the switch, uh, the power switch back in here somewhere, I believe either here or I'm going to locate it underneath the seat. And that should give me, and that should give me the power that I need to get this all set up and ready to go. And then I'm able to have my two uh, tread devices communicate with one another and we'll go from there. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And uh, definitely pass our video around. That's, that's the only way we can keep doing this content. Have a good day.